There are three main mistakes that people make with their self-care, and I'm wondering if you happen to make some of these same mistakes. I know so many people do. Self-care is incredibly important when it comes to you showing up in your life at your best, right? Whether that's for your team, whether that's for the people that you love, you know, whether that's for your children, your family, whatever you have. If you neglect yourself, then you know that over time you will become depleted. When you become depleted, you'll get angry and irritable and you just won't feel great in your uh, body and your life and be showing up for people the way that you really want to, right? That's how important self-care is. Now, the number one mistake that people make is they don't think about it until it's like way too late, until you're already exhausted and drained and depleted, and then it becomes a must, right? Or your body will even go so far as to shut down and get sick, and then you know, then you have to take the time to heal. It's like a forced recovery. So that's number one, it's just not thinking about it. And number two, goes along with that is like putting it off. So maybe it's on your list, but then it gets bumped down the list and bumped down the list and bumped down the list. And you just never really seem to get to it. Or it's like just a passing thing. You know, you give yourself five minutes here, 10 minutes there, which is not bad, right? That's a good start. But your human will probably need a little bit more care than that to really show up in your best. Which brings me to the third mistake is that people take a very simplistic view of self-care. They think of it only as taking a little extra time and space, which again is fine, but there's more to it than that. You know, there's more to it than a bubble bath. There's more to it than a spa day, right? Those things are really wonderful, but that, you know, you care for your physical body, right? There's so much that goes into that, just making sure that your physical body's at its best, but there's your mental health, your emotional health. There's how you manage yourself in your relationships, right? Also very important. There is your financial health, right? There's financial uh, well-being as well, financial care, right? It's a very important part of your life. And then, of course, there's your spiritual connection, right? Your spiritual well-being. All of those things matter. All of those are aspects of you. All of them require a certain amount of care, right? So it's being able to recognize what you need and being able to give yourself that ahead of time, right? They say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Couldn't be more true in self-care, and that's so important to know. It's also important to know that self-care is one tiny piece. Lots of times this gets confused with self-love, and it's not the same thing. It's an aspect of that and a foundation of it, but not the same thing, because you can do all of those things and you can still feel guilty about it, feel terrible about yourself, have a lot of self-criticism and blame and uh, negative self-talk and all those things, right, can still exist even if you're taking care of yourself. And you might be wondering, why isn't it working, right? It's because there's more to the story, because really developing an amazing relationship with yourself, an amazing sense of self-love is more than just self-care. And I believe this is one of the most important conversations that we can be having. So I'd love to hear what you have to say. Comment below, share the video out for somebody that you think, you know, maybe could use a little bit more care in their life or use a different voice in their in their ear about that. And more than anything, let's start a conversation about this because it is so important. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.